Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a photo or a pattern like the one I've got on screen now to add an extra little bit of detail to your digital paintings. So on the right hand side here, we have got the item of clothing that I have drawn out. Uh, I haven't used reference for this, so please don't judge me. But just imagine this is a little bit of cloth, maybe a, a skirt or sleeve or something like that. And here we have the pattern that I am going to use. So I've literally just searched Google Images for pattern, or you could even draw your own or take your own photos. So just make sure you have permission to use it. And what I'm hoping to do here is actually put this pattern onto the bottom of the dress, but I want it to look quite realistic. So I'm going to show you how to actually wrap it round the shape of the dress. And you would get completely different results depending on what colors you use and what patterns you use and things like that. So. The first thing I'm going to show you is if I remove the background, you'll notice this pattern has actually got white in it as opposed to being transparent, which it looks like there with the white background behind it. So I'm going to select the layer that's got the pattern on and up in this top left corner, I'm going to select the word select. I'm going to click color range and I'm going to click in the white area here. You can see the preview here. Change that till you're happy with the clarity or the fuzziness. Hit OK. And that should now have selected all that white area. So what I'm going to do now is hit delete on my keyboard and deselect that. And now we actually have a transparent image. Alternatively, if you find a PNG pattern, it might not have a background on it anyway. So the first thing I'm going to do is just resize this a little bit because it's way too big for what I need and I'm going to drag it onto a layer above the material. I'm going to cut it down to a square just because I find it a little bit easier to work with. I'm also going to duplicate it because I'm going to do each pleat of the skirt separately so I can make it a little bit neater. I'm going to hit Control and T on my keyboard. I'm going to right click this and I'm going to select Warp. And then what I'm going to actually do with this is shape this to match the skirt or to match the individual sections, the pleats, whatever you want to call them. For some shapes, this will be easier than others, but the more you play around with it, the better you will get at it. And I am speeding this up a little bit just whilst I get this a little bit neater because I'm quite slow. Before I hit enter on that, you can hopefully see how I have shaped that to match the dress. So I'm going to hit enter. And one thing before I go any further, I've actually noticed that there is still a little bit of white left around because it hasn't cut it too neatly. So I'm just going to fill those in a little bit by hitting Ctrl and U and up in the darkness just so that it's basically put everything to black. Once you've done that, you can actually change the color. Again, if you hit Ctrl and U, it will bring up this layer. I'm going to colorize this and I'm going to change it to red. So I'm going to up the saturation and the lightness. I'm going to find a red that actually matches the material here. Hit OK. And in this corner here, I'm going to change it from normal and I'm going to press down on my keyboard to cycle through all of these different ones to see which one looks good. So I'm going to select normal and press down. Some of these won't work too well and others will work really well. And you can see how it's actually keeping the shading below the pattern so that it blends in a little bit better than just using it as a normal layer. So I've had a flick through all of these and I'm going to go with exclusion just because I think that looks pretty cool. So I could also use my eraser tool just to clean this up on the edges or if the pattern is on the layer above the material, I can hold down alt on my keyboard and select here. And you can see how that has cleaned up the edges. And don't forget you can edit this at any point by hitting Ctrl and U again and playing around with the different saturations to see what effects you can get. Certain colors will look better in different layer types. I'm going to leave it at this one for now. And I'll show you another example in a second. All I'm doing here is just I'm just speeding this up whilst I finish the rest of the dress off or skirt. The bit of material, you know what I mean. So again, I'm just going to warp this pattern to match the shape of the pleat. Once I'm happy with those, I'm just going to go in with my eraser 
I'm just going to fade the edge a little bit at the top of each of them because I've not really done these as a, uh, a very perfect, perfectly neat job, let's call it. And I'd prefer to have them fading in a little bit. So that is one effect that we've got there. I'm going to duplicate these and try some different effects. So on the pattern layer, I'm going to hit Ctrl and U and I'm going to change it to a yellow. And what I'm going to do this time, I'm actually going to set it to normal. And I'm going to change the color so that I can actually see how it looks on normal. And I'm going to lock the transparent pixels here so that I can paint on top of this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the dodge tool for highlights. So such as here and here. And I'm going to use the burn tool to go into the shadows. So this is a way of actually painting on the pattern manually. But I do think it looks pretty cool doing it like this. So again, we started with a photo texture or a pattern. Okay, so those are two examples there. The first one we're using the exclusion layer and the second one we're just using normal layer. So you can see on exclusion, it actually takes the information of the colors on the layer below and has actually taken into account where the shadow is. So it's quite realistic how it works. On this normal layer one here, it doesn't do that because it's on a normal layer, but we have of course manually gone in and darkened that where the shadows are. But either way, the purpose of this video was showing you how to take a pattern or a photo texture and warp it around an image. There are absolutely loads of ways you can use this, but shaping it round folds in clothing is just the first thing that sprang to mind. So I'm going to leave it at that guys, I hope you found this video useful. Definitely have a play around with it and see what cool effects you can find. Let me know in the comments below if you come up with any cool combinations or patterns that work. And as always, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more content. Thanks so much for watching everyone.